Stars are powered by nuclear fusion. Fusion joins light nuclei, releasing energy as light and heat. That steady process defines a star's life. Most stars spend a long time on the main sequence. In that phase, hydrogen fuses into helium in the core. It is a long, stable, energy-producing stage. The Sun is about 4.6 billion years old. It's roughly halfway through adult 10 billion year main sequence life. Core fusion maintains pressure balancing gravity. That balance keeps luminosity relatively steady for eons. Massive blue stars are hot and extremely luminous. They burn fuel quickly, lifetimes around 10 million years. Many end their lives as supernovae. The remnants can form neutron stars or black holes. Outcome depends on initial stellar mass. Lower mass stars like the Sun expand into red giants, they shed outer layers, forming a planetary nebula. The exposed core cools and fades as a white dwarf. Over time that white dwarf cools into a black dwarf. This path differs from massive star supernova outcomes. Meteors are solar system debris, not stars. They burn in our atmosphere, making brief streaks. That phenomenon is distinct from stellar evolution. Stellar life cycles, follow physics we can model and test. Want more on how stars live and die? Subscribe for more on stellar life cycles.